Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and this video is going to highlight a few things. One, you're going to be seeing gameplay of the T-34-1 on the third War Thunder closed beta ground forces test server. You're going to see just how powerful this tank is, how frankly unbalanced this tank is. You're also going to see an absolute rampage in the T-34-1, which it, it's not that too hard to achieve at the moment. You're also going to see later on during this battle that there is an issue on the test server at the moment with spawn camping that I really think something needs to be done about it. This will be the first time that I have entered the enemy's spawn and really it was just horribly unfair. So we just got hit, we don't really know where from. Okay, we've just spotted where the enemies are. This isn't going to be in a very effective engagement for me by the looks of it. We can see that those PZ-3s are only really showing their turrets, hiding most of their hull. So after firing one pop shot, I decided it was time to get out of there. So we're making our way quite aggressively along the map. And it looks like we're about to have our first opportunity. Flush shot right into the side, set him on fire, and he burned up. Now at the moment on the test server, the T-34-1 is by far the most powerful tank, so it's very nice to be able to get a kill on the T-34 there, especially considering they only have two lives. So really, towards the end of the battle, it, it's kind of who's got a T-34 left when everyone else has to spawn in tanks that are not the T-34. So I'm going to keep flanking. I want to get some shots on this side of these guys. On target. Right through the side of the stug. Took his track off. It serves him right. Set him on fire. He burns up. Like the tinder box. So we've taken a position where we're basically covering both of the exits to the enemy, one of the enemy spawns, so that we can lock down the cap circle. My team is locking down the cap circle. While I hopefully give them as much cover as I possibly can. Thinking about advancing a little bit more into the enemy spawn. This is, usually gets very dangerous. So here we go, we're going to be entering the enemy spawn and mayhem is going to ensue. And wow, you guys get a really good idea of just what the T-34 is able to do especially when it's going against tanks on this version of the test server, which feels frankly unfair. Oh, I think we're going to have a nice little fun. Oh! Am I getting shot in the ass? By a stug? This is why going into the enemy spawn is usually fatal. Lol, 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 lol. 
They need to provide some kind of spawn protection. You be the judge whether this is fair or not. I <laughs> finally got killed. But yeah, um, the really T-34 is completely unbalanced at this kind of a stage. Being able to go into the enemy's spawn is a bit unbalanced as well. We were able to get seven kills there before we died. We even played like a donkey. So, hopefully soon they implement... Hopefully soon they implement... Uh, like, I don't know, maybe they need some AT guns that shoot you as you come into the spawn or something? Because at the moment... It's something that's far too easy to do. Especially in a tank as dangerous as the T-34. Alright, so now I'm going to pressure the cap circles. I'm going to go for B. We have to cap almost three bases to win. So I'm going to go and fight to the death for the cap circle to try and win the game now. He got killed just before we fired, literally a fraction of a second. Gonna go back this guy up and hopefully take all of the enemy bases now. That was never gonna go out well for a Panzer IV Z versus the T-34. Nice, we've taken all three bases. Hopefully we can hold on to them. Poor guy. Oh, it's a very dangerous tank destroyer. We hit it. I think, it, I think this is going to be the end of me. Took out his gunner. Took out his cannon barrel. Oh, he wrecked us there. This is a very dangerous tank destroyer. We can't actually see his hull. We can only see the top of his tanks. This is a very interesting engagement, actually. As you can see, my ammo is damaged. We're unable to damage him just through his gun shield. Looks like we're going to win this round though. Oh, my vertical drive is damaged. Nice, we've got his commander, his loader, his gunner and his track. Because my vertical drive and my horizontal drive now. Ah, oh, I am one hell of a crippled T-34. Ah, oh, there's not much that I can do here, guys. I've just got to try and distract them for as long as I can. Or go close quarters. 
Got a kill assist. There's the ZIS that was murdering us. Maybe we could get some revenge. This is a, oh no, the verticals jam, the horizontals jam. Oh, now the suspension is gone. We are one crippled T-34, but I think we went down fighting. How are we still alive? How are we still alive? Come on, game end. Yes. So yeah, T-34. Not really balanced in this version of the test server. I wanted to show you all the aspects of the test server. I think it definitely needs to be fixed. Possibly have anti-tank guns that prevent you from coming into the enemy spawn. Because at the moment, it's pretty brutal to play anything apart from a T-34-1. The T-34-1 just feel, feels so damn powerful that it literally can just go in and be a superhero on the test server. And that's why I'm not going to play this iteration of the test server that much, because most people are just playing T-34-1s and it feels that unless you're playing the T-34-1 as well, then really you'll just feed for them. I think I'm going to try and play the Stug though, because I think with the heat rounds it could be very good at taking out T-34s. New achievement, official forum. You are allowed to post messages on the War Thunder official forum. Oh, well, thank you very much. So we got 11 kills there for one death, although it definitely didn't feel very fair playing a tank, which doesn't feel very balanced in this version of the test server. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and got to see just what the T-34-1 is. I also got to show you that there are some issues on the test server at the moment with spawn camping and just the balance of things. It's just my opinion, but this is the worst iteration of the test so far, both with the variety of tanks on offer and also the fact that really there just shouldn't be the T-34-1 meeting all the other tanks. At least we really got to see just some of the kind of examples of combat. And it's still exciting for me to be learning where to shoot the enemy tanks. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.